I know your head is big. You know, Steven, they got a, you know, you know how you get brain surgery. It look like that. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. There you go. You remember the Indian from Apocalypto? Right, remember that? the MVP podcast my name is Dale and today we're talking about Stephen A. Smith getting blasted by D.L. Hughley check it out Stephen A. Smith like first off I think Stephen says what insults me is when you say something and pretend like you didn't say it we heard what you said then you said they taking me out of context nigga play the tape show yeah. me what it is that you said that was different than I perceived you said right. you said it right you said that black people relate to Donald Trump how if if a if a if 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 I know a black dude who in his seventies, close to eighties, is still committing crime, I'm not hanging out with that nigga. Right, I'm not. Right. I'm not. Right. If, if this it's, dude is different. <laughs> what, what 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 it says more about what you think is relatable and what you perceive as relatable. Uh, it says more about you than it does about him. Once you got convicted of raping somebody, I can't fuck with you. I don't care who you are. Mm -hmm. When you committed fraud, I can't mess with you. So it, it says more about what this dude thinks is because when you make those kind of broad statements, what you're saying is, from my perspective, from my vantage point, these people think this. Who are you hanging around that thinks an old fraudulent rapist is, is relatable to you? Mm. Who, who, who is in your sphere that you think that's okay? Don't be a pussy and tell me you didn't say it. You did. You mm. did. You said what you said. Now, I know your head is big. You know, Stephen, they got a, you know, you know how you get brain surgery. It look like that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, like yeah. There you go. You remember the Indian from Apocalypse? Yeah. <laughs> no, maybe that, maybe it's a lot, a lot of space in there. You said it. Stand on it. Don't tell me you didn't say it. You said on Fox News that black people relate to him. What you're saying is we uh, we, 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 we respect criminality. We're held right. sway by it. Yeah, we're in the court. We in the, yeah. We love it. So so don't say you didn't say it. And I, and I get tired of people telling me if, if if you took me, if he got taken out of context, show me the thing you said that is different than what I believe you said. Right. And that's easy. That's you know it. what I'm saying? Just press play. Yep. And but don't say you didn't instant say it. total recall. You, and what, what, what Stephen A. Smith does, he lionizes white people to do stuff. Dana White slapped the shit out of his wife, right? Mm -hmm. And watch the interview he did with him. He lionized that dude. He, he, he softballed him. He lionizes people like that. Mm. The same thing he would escorate a black man for, he lined Gotcha. He, he slapped his wife, and then the next day, this nigga had a show called Power Slap on TV. <laughs> <laughs> it's so ironic, but yeah. It's yeah. So true. And when and he, he slapped his woman, and you did the interview, you all but apologized for having to ask him that question. This is the, this is your M.O. You believe mm. this shit, but don't be a pussy and tell me you didn't say it. You said it. And stand on it. Say and double down on it. Yeah, that's it. Amen. The first Stephen thing A's. I agree with 100% because I do know Stephen A has said a lot of things and then when he gets checked on it all right he changed it up or he changed the context or whatever of what he says the latest thing I think was I'm with Tyreek Hill because he said that his quarterback Tua all right couldn't throw and he started disrespecting him a bit, all right? But Tyreek Hill checked him. And then Stephen A went on the show and said, oh, you know, you can't take my word for word. Right, 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 it's taken out of context and so on and so forth. So in this case, I believe that, I believe what D.L. Hughley is saying because Stephen A does this all the time. He'll say something, get checked on it, and then switch that up a little bit, okay? Um, I'm not going to discuss the whole part about Donald Trump and black people and whatnot, how we relate to them. That's kind of crazy um, because that is just Stephen A's opinion. And um, I believe that Stephen A and a lot of other black celebrities right, who were with Joe Biden are off of Joe Biden because of what happened, you know, the past four years. They don't want to reelect him because of all the disaster that has happened when he has been, you know, um, been president. The reaction to the COVID, the multiple wars, all these type of things. So I think a lot of black people are trying to get, get away from him. They were pushed to vote for him because of the way that the media have portrayed Trump. And now... Uh, it's really not media, but more social media is ex has exposed Joe Biden for who he is or actually who he isn't. 
at some point I think people have respect for him but at this point it's like nobody even really knows if he's alive or what he is or whatever so I think Stephen A is in that gang now who's trying to you know move his allegiance over to Donald Trump the worst of both evils so this is why he's trying to you know, make it seem as though black people are with Donald Trump all of a sudden when before, you know, four or five years ago, they were all against him. So, um, so I can, I can understand why Stephen A is doing that. Not that I agree with it or whatever, but I just understand it. But, uh, I just wanted to show you guys DL Hughley that's blasting Stephen A. Like Stephen A is used to getting blasted by T.O., by Steven Jackson, by a whole bunch of, <laughs> you name it, all right, um, people blast Stephen A, but uh, that's about it, so until next time.